What is going on guys? Welcome to my brand new Football Manager 2018 series in the Singapore Premier League with Hao Kang United. I know that you guys might be baffled on why is it a brand new series while I've had a Singapore Premier League series going on uh, 20 episodes already. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> as you guys uh, might have noticed, or you guys should be noticing already, that series uh, with Young Lions and I ended up getting the Hao Kang United job, which is why I, I'm managing Hao Kang United right now, was played in, in the Football Manager 2017 game, basically because I started uh, that save a long time ago and recently I have managed to acquire uh, the football manager 8 2018 game i know that it's recently on a big sale and things like that yeah i mean i'm late to the party but here i am you know <laughs> yeah so basically i i decided to just continue uh that series make singapore great again series so this series i think most likely will be bearing uh the exact same name but i'll just change the thumbnail slightly i think you guys will see it when it's uploaded so yeah, I just decided to just, how to say, pick up where I left off from that series and just go with Hao Kang United, the team that I manage uh, and th that I, I got the job basically <clears throat> in the end. And uh, the last episode in that series basically yeah, with me uh, playing the preseason game against Bayern Munich with Hao Kang United. But anyways, yeah, let's just get into it. Uh, I mean... It's been a long time since I last recorded, so I'm, I feel pretty rusty, uh, but hopefully things will be okay. So in this series, I mean last series, I basically played two games uh, in an episode. I initially started with one game, I know, but now I plan to play two games. So in this episode, I'll be playing the Young Lions, our first match at home, and also Home United away from home. But unlike in that series where after the match, I'll just cut off until the the start of the next game. Now I'll just play through it. I'll just play through all the way and see how it goes so I can have a chance to comment on the news and things like that so I don't miss any uh, important news. But I think before we start the match, uh, as usual, uh, let's do some housekeeping, so to say. So the squad is pretty bloated as usual but i noticed that this squad was full of uh, central midfielders and defensive midfielders and things like that so there were some uh, crazy i mean there was some huge deficiencies in uh, some positions namely the full backs that uh, i noticed and also uh, left midfield so i signed several players for it but just like uh, the previous series in Football Manager 2017, it is almost impossible to sell players. I don't know why. Even though I just say, okay, you are available uh, for for transfer, you're transfer listed and all that. Yeah, like this guy is transfer listed. But nobody approached them. And everyone in the league seems to be, I don't know if we can see the transfers and things like that. I don't know. Yeah, most of them... I mean, this is slightly better. They are, they are a monetary transaction, unlike in FM17, where it's all free transfer. But most of them sign players on a free. Maybe, I don't know, maybe the players that I try to sell are just not good enough. So maybe nobody wants them. But it's just stupid. But at least I, I still manage to keep the wage budget under control. And that's the most important thing. But still, a bloated squad uh, with a lot of dead weight players is very dangerous because sooner or later they will complain and affect the dynamics here the new feature in fm18 basically so that's what i'm very scared of but anyways uh let's just hope for the best on that front there's nothing i can do it's already the start of the season so i'll just go through the transfer first before anything else so i managed to sign uh in, to in total there are six players here so i signed this guy <clears throat> a striker as a backup striker because uh, our strikers uh, Pablo and Shukri Bashir. Okay, I'm happy that I can work with Shukri Bashir in this save because for those who followed my FM17 series, Shukri Bashir was excellent when, I mean, in the end, it, he fizzled out, sort of, but 
he was excellent. And Garrett Lowe as well, our captain with the Young Lions. I think they debuff his ability. I mean, in in the FM17 series, he had a passing of 13, I think. Uh, I mean, he was slightly better. He was better uh, in that series. I remember that much. But uh, I'm happy to be able to get two players that I'm familiar with. Talking about uh, familiarity... Uh, Belestia Halsa has played their first game and they won 4-1. But look at this, Jonathan Town scored twice. And Jonathan Town was also a guy who performed really well uh, for me in the Young Lions uh, in the FM17 series. So a lot of uh, deja vu's right here, but too bad I only have uh, Garrett Lowe and Sukri Bashir right here. But uh, okay, back to the transfers. Yeah, I signed this guy as a backup striker. Even though his ability looks good, finishing 12, off the ball 12, composure 12, but that's about it. <clears throat> I'm, I don't know if he will be able to perform uh, well. I, uh, it remains to be seen. And this guy seems solid enough as well, marking 14, positioning 14 as well, tackling 11, which is decent at this level, and decisions 12. But uh, the physical is very lacking, but he's the best that I can, I can find. So, yeah, let's just hope that he will be able to provide some solid uh, grounds for our defense. And this guy, I remember in FM17, he played really well for Balestier. Uh, I got him for free as well. Balestier released him for, for some reason. Uh, not remarkable here. Just like uh, Garrett Law, they seem to uh, debuff him, nerf him, so to say. But uh, he's, again, he's a backup. And this guy, an experienced guy uh, for our right back, he is decent, especially the mental side because he's an old player. And in this level, I find that old players like this guy, and look at him, uh, he has been kept 89 times for Singapore. I, I didn't know that. <laughs> but uh, an experienced guy like him, oh, he has also played for Sengkang Marines uh, back then. Uh, before Haukang United, basically, the previous iteration, so to say. But yeah, an experienced guy like him, usually at this level, in this kind of league, usually he will perform well. He, yeah, I mean, back from the days of FM07 and all that, when I played uh, Southeast Asian leagues, basically, uh, players like this guy always perform well. So let's hope for the best. And this guy as well, uh, he can play f both left back and right back i mean not too well on the left but yeah he's a backup versatile backup which is i like and this guy is a a guy who has a good potential i signed him yeah look, look at this guy potential ability quite good and he's also good right now right from the bat he's only 17 uh he plays mainly on the defensive midfield and stuff like that i like this guy this guy reminds me of amirul adli from uh, the FM17 series, if you guys watch it. I played him as a ball-winning midfielder. So, yeah, this guy is quite good. Good tackling, good decisions. I mean, he's, he's good in, 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 in the attributes that I will need him to be good at based on this position and stuff like that. Hopefully, he can step up as well. And as for the tactics, I will start with an attacking mentality because we are playing against Young Lions and Young Lions as... You guys know already if you follow my previous series, they are the weakest team in the league and they are yeah, predicted to finish 9th and I don't know uh, how their board is thinking right now but in the FM17, if you guys remember, uh, the board themselves expect nothing but to finish at the bottom. That's their expectation. Easiest job in the world. Huh? <laughs> yeah, but anyways, yeah, I have a mixed feeling playing Young Lions at home for the first game, at, the, at, at one, in, I mean, at one side, they seem to be an easy game right off the bat. But on the other side, I mean, this is the first game. Uh, the players are still on holiday mood. Uh, match sharpness is low despite a glut of friendlies, which we did well in. Look at that, 4 nil, 4 nil. But it means nothing. I know friendlies mean nothing. But anyways, yeah, first game is always tricky no matter what, so I have a mixed feeling playing them uh, right off the bat. But it's better rather than playing our Birex Niigata right off from the bat away game. Like this game, if it's the first game, I'll feel salty as well. So it goes both ways, I guess. Uh, let's take a look at our squad as our tactics. So I pretty much stick with 
a similar 4-4-2-ish formation. I know it looks 4-4 here, but I just because I play them in the in the positions that where they are most comfortable in, I think that's that's the best approach. And unlike uh, in the previous series where I go with exploit the left and right flanks, I feel that that's a pretty limiting thing to do. So in this this time, what I do is I'll just keep it simple because that's the advice that people usually give when you play in a obscure league like this one or a, a lower league management in England. Just keep it simple with minimal instruction. So all I instruct them to do is direct passing and... Uh, what else okay whip cross that's it nothing else but of course i will change it as the match goes on i mean hopefully things will go well and we don't have to change it but uh, we will adapt so okay another problem that i have with this team is that uh, in this team you are only allowed to register three foreign players and we have like i don't know five foreign players we have pablo which he's indispensable we have to play him we have to play he's the star and we have Fumia Kogure also a star it, I, I almost wanted to sell him at first I thought that oh, this guy is not good but look at this the coach summary five stars five stars so important player so what was I thinking to sell him and he did very well in the Mazala role in the friendly so I know that means nothing again but hey I, I'll just feel confident about that and just play him on the Masala. And Sirota is the third foreigner. And he's also a good a center back to have. So I have to register him. So three already. And sadly, there are two more guys who are foreigners. Adam Miter, our meter, I don't know how to... And he's a good player as well. That's the thing. Look at this. Look at his physical. He's a good player. And his height as well. I really like. But I can't register him because I have to register the other three guys. I don't know. Maybe uh, when there is a time where we can change the registration, I will I will remove uh, Sirota if he doesn't perform well and replace him with Mitter. I hopefully Mitter will feel happy in the reserves. I don't know. I just feel salty about this. And if that's not enough, Fitterale. I mean, I know that he's still young, uh, but I mean, the foreigners is always good in this league. They are always good. If only I can play all five, but. I don't want to talk about that too much, seriously, seriously, <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, this is my team, basically, uh, the stars I will expect to perform will be, of course, Pablo, this guy, a foreigner in this league, always have to perform well, Fumia, Kogure, and Sirota at the back, and another star that I expect him to deliver a lot will be Shukri Bashir, hopefully he will be able to perform like he did with the Young Lions. In the last series and Nazrul Nazari in real life he's also the one uh, playing really well for Haukang <clears throat> so hopefully here he will be able to play as well to, uh, to play as well as yeah it's in real life and and stuff like that uh, hopefully things will go well seriously I feel a bit nervous but uh, I'm, we, we are ready we are ready to start uh, the season so the manager uh, I think I, I should mention this yeah, still the same guy. Look at him. Uh, he's, he looks slightly more chill, I think, in here. Ah, and another thing is that you can edit the manager appearance. You can make update them, like if he grows hair and things like that. In FM17, you were not able to do that. But yeah, that's the same guy, <laughs> but different. He looks more peaceful. He looks angrier. He looks angrier in FM17. Uh, and besides that, I have to, uh, lastly, before we start the match, I just want to mention about the staff transfer as well, which is here. <clears throat> okay, uh, pardon my throat there. Okay, so I released this guy, uh, our old head of youth development, because he only has uh, working with youngsters 9 and potential and player ability 3, judging ability and potential 3. That's not good enough. And I signed this guy. Which, is, which has 17 working with youngsters and 8 to 9, which is good. Reminds me of Shane Lightfoot from the previous series, if you remember him. And yeah, this guy is the, the manager. In real life, he, he got sacked as well recently, so yeah. And we didn't have a scout, so I signed this guy again, 7 to 8. Similar to Liam Grabovac from the previous series. So, And Alexander Durich, I signed him as well, just like the last series. But... 
in the last series i remember he had 14 fitness and in in that series with the young lions i signed him more as a fitness coach rather than a attacking coach but here apparently they they nerf him the fitness only six i don't know maybe it's randomized i, I don't i don't even know uh just like in the cm uh days like 15 years ago to almost 20 years ago by now i, I feel old <laughs> in the editor at that time if you press zero uh, the stats will be randomized yeah so maybe that's what it is but i don't know but yeah he's basically an only an attacking guy here so yeah that's good enough 13 is also already good enough so that's all my signings and i think it's time to start the game i just played uh, the players in the comfortable position and hopefully uh, things will go well and let's go into the match how can united versus young lions we need a result here let's face it we need a result and i'll just yeah go to yeah we need a result i would like a result but i don't know i'll just play the i just oh shit I didn't set up any team talk and stuff like that. Oh uh oh, oops. <laughs> okay, never mind. The boys know what to do. The boys know what to do. So I'll just say uh, extended highlights because I feel that uh, we can see the match more. So I'll play it. I play in a two D classic. The boys know what to do, uh, but he's offside. There's no team talk. That is insane. I don't know. I just click. Like, you know, when your finger is like, uh, uh, you, you click once, but it reflexively click twice. But the boys know what to do with Shukri Bashir and Pablo combining. Just like in the friendlies. Just like in the friendlies. Bam! That's why I said Pablo is uh, indispensable. That's why I said Pablo is doing... Okay, the reason why I play on 2D is because uh, not only nostalgia, but because I don't have a very powerful computer. So rendering the video will be painful if I just play 3D uh, full on. Oh, look at that pass from the experienced guy. I told you guys, uh, the 36-year-old guys, the 30 or even 40-years-old guys. Oh, I think I have to... Uh, I changed the mentality here because after the early goal oh, okay i thought it's a i thought that we considered a penalty yeah after the early goal i don't know why but we seem to get very uh, complacent so i'll just say encourage uh, not encourage actually damn i can't cancel it okay encourage yeah might as well so many mistakes i'm rusty i haven't been playing for a long time i know that's not an excuse but Oh, they are through on goal. Uh, I think I really have to uh, change something here. Uh, the mentality, I think control at this point. Because I'm very scared. Okay, Bashir, Kogure as the masala, Pablo. But uh, nothing happened there. Because I'm playing extended, so there'll be a lot of highlights, but most of the time there'll be nothing happening. But I don't know, uh, it's very scary now because, uh, okay, uh, I don't know why. We started really well, but the players seem to be complacent. Sukri to Pablo, uh, we need a second goal, man. We need a second goal. Iqbal, uh, I think we need a second goal. I feel nervous. There will be a lot of highlights, but nothing happened most of the time. I thought Iqbal gonna score there. Okay, I'll just go with the shout again and say... Uh, oh, I can't do that? Uh, concentrate? We have to be careful. One nil is... Uh, I don't know. We've been allowing them too much. Okay, Nazrul. No, Rahman! I, I told you, this guy, the old guy, the experienced guy, will be key for us. Oh, uh, Fumia taking a hit. What's his injury? Foot injury? Usually, the knee injuries and all that will be the one. 
to be w- worried about but still any injuries will be worrying Bruce ankle your yeah, ankle is I don't know I'm thinking of substituting him actually okay we didn't have any team talk so I'll just say assertively I'll just say uh, yeah I'm yeah ah look stress uh, just talk to him and say uh, okay he's stressed there's nothing else I can do uh, I think that's it uh, I think the tactic we we'll just play on control and maybe flexible uh, too fluid is also not too good I keep uh, Fumia Kogure on for a little bit hopefully I don't cause any uh, crazy injuries or something like that Pablo or I will change him around I know 55th minute or something I don't know okay Shukri uh, Shukri good job uh, Kogure Kogure Iqbal Shukri to back to Kogure with the ankle getting smashed can't hope for much the ball looked so big in FM18 for some reason in the 2D uh, yeah, that's bound to happen. That's bound to happen. That's bound to happen. After the the early goal, we we just switch off. I don't know why. I don't know why we just switch off. Yeah, not happy about this. But okay, I think I'll I'll sub Kogure and uh, do I want Fabian or Garrett? I think Fabian. Fabian will have more. More attacking presence, I think, rather than Garrett. Hopefully, I'm not proven wrong here. But I want to change the instruction here. Uh, I don't know what to change for now, though. Okay, uh, I'll just do this and give a talk and say get creative. Get creative seems to be always working. At least in the previous series, but... Ah. Yeah, after the first goal, we just switch off, and they are the one knocking on our door. Okay, so we have to make some sort of change. Okay, I think I'll just go with the attacking. now I'm looking for a goal I'm looking for a goal so I'll just go route one pump ball into the box shoot on side and all those things yep and stay on feet let's just be rough and then I don't want to go overload yet but I will go uh, pretty soon Oh, again, they are the one attacking us, but Pablo, can we counter them? Nazrul, oh, Nazrul Nazari, look at that, Pablo, Pablo, what a counter attack, what a counter attack, and what a move from Nazrul Nazari, look at this guy, look at this guy, look at this guy, whoa, skip the, oh my god, look at that, he skipped like a bunny to avoid that tackle, uh, I think it's time to change it back I think not go route one more direct passing uh, yeah yeah let's let's do that hopefully we don't switch off again Shukri Bashir okay Shukri uh, lost the ball too easily Fabian Shukri Bashir oh my god Pablo should have been able to get a hat trick. Pablo, Farhan, Pablo, Chukri Bashir, 3 1. Oh, they are combining like crazy, these two guys. So, Pablo, Farhan, oh, back heel. Pablo, Chukri Bashir. The stereotype will be Chukri Bashir crossing to Pablo and Pablo heading with his height. But 
that is not always the case and Nazrul okay so uh, let's get more subs in uh, let's check out the condition ah this view is a bit needing some getting used to uh, Faris Farhan not getting a good game at the moment I still need Iqbal I feel to screen the defense I think I'll go with Garrett but play him in a more central role but we don't have any presence on the left though that could be I don't know maybe uh, they are doing well maybe let's not do that do I want to to do that though yeah we don't have anybody on the left I think that's stupid that is very stupid uh, I think I'll leave it for now make it make this up a little bit uh, later on I just give give a team talk and say uh, tighten up at this point I think oh, I'm still on attacking by the way uh, I'm thinking of changing that as well oh no Rahman the experienced guy Shukri can you do something Pablo uh, not this time okay let's sub I don't want players to get too tired and things like that yeah I think I'll, I'll go Garrett low yeah I, I'll do this I think yep and then later on I'll put um, Masri or Ahmad Kidir at this point I think I want to close the game up and yeah attacking I think I'll just go standard be more responsible and just remove all these things normal tempo uh yeah be more disciplined maybe stick to position and slightly deeper we have to be responsible i don't want to to get caught with my pants down that's what i was trying to say because they are still trying to knock on our doors obviously it's a football game don't expect them to just uh lay down at the center of the ring oh pablo what is that what is that pablo okay uh i think we have one more sub to go so at this point uh yeah let's give masri some run out can he play there no no cannot and what else yeah I think I'll keep it like this but central midfielder support yep oh Masri Rivis uh, ovation the young guy that will do him a, a world of confidence with the standing ovation okay Nazari uh, there's still five minutes left so I don't want any stupid things to happen maybe I'll talk last minute talk I'll just say tighten up tighten up okay not really hull it okay hull it to Pablo Pablo always wins the header you always expect him to oh what a oh. And there's still some time left. Uh, okay. Okay, this should be over. <clears throat> no Rahman. What? I mean, he has the footballing brains. He has the footballing brains from all the experience that he has. That's all I'm going to say. He's always at the right spot at the right time and doing the right thing. Yeah. 3-1. I'll take that. No clean sheet, but so what? So after the after the goal, uh, the first goal, we switch off, and then 
after that after the changes i made yeah a good a good win yeah that's all yeah after the changes i made we we switch on again and we score two goals to close up the game that's good that's i'm okay with that i'm okay with that all right so okay mastery yeah this guy is the guy that i said the young guy with a uh, potential okay so it seems that uh fumia kogure is okay so that's good oh vitali kravchenko oh, sounds like a okay anyways okay new signing uh will mastery be in the first team plans i'll just say ah no 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 i'll just say yeah i won't be making any comments i don't want him to be i don't want to tell the media okay he will be in the first team and then he's not you know okay you've got to be pleased with the result it's, yeah uh yeah i just say everybody it was a pleasing victory it's yeah it was a great moment yep regular basis hopefully a win you know could you fish for a better start yeah a long way to go of course pablo Uh, he's a very good player yeah i'll just say that i want to i don't know i want to praise him so much but at the same time i don't want yeah i mean because like in that game after the first goal we got complacent a little bit i just want to save after every match because i feel a paranoid about things going wrong so yeah that's what i'm gonna do so next game will be a tough away game against home united they are expected to finish third so we will expect a tough challenge so on the training i'll just go with since the season has started so i'll just go with i'll go here and then intensity level i just go average i think because fitness high fitness for the uh preseason so i think i'll just go with defending because we have tough games ahead and then uh defensive positioning yeah and then this one i think defensive set pieces yeah because we are the one away and when we are away i think i want to play with this tactic here which is defensive but with the intention of countering that's what it's about that's what it's about so we'll we'll try this we'll try this and see what happens as usual but kogure is slightly injured but we'll see how he goes in in the next game which is four days from now pretty hectic but there'll be a time where uh things will be like there's a long break like ridiculous break like for example i think i'll show you guys yeah like here between Geylang and Warriors there's a huge gap 7th of May and then the next game is 8th of uh, July there's one full month without football okay season ticket all right how's our finances now yeah uh, the finances I will expect to be the same as the uh, the last series will incur losses and all that because in this league the attendance is not very good yeah so i'll be rex will be uh the winner of the league most likely just like in real life they are too good okay the game is coming up soon okay uh, i think i kind of agree with the coach Playing 4 to 4 is a bit too crazy. Okay, Iqbal will be here. But if I play them here, look at that. They are not comfortable at all. I think I'll go with this. I'll go with this and see how it goes. But Fumia, I think I'll go with Mezala. No, maybe not. Uh, in this. 
in this game i think i'll go with box to box in this type of uh, formation yeah i'll just play them in the most comfortable roles yep i think i want to play the same team as before to be honest with you guys yeah i think i'll play the same guys because they yeah that's what i'm gonna do uh, okay uh do you have any thoughts oh uh, it's not even playing that's the thing Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't plan to play this guy. So I don't know. Yeah, what we are going to do? I'll just say that. Maybe he's a good player. I know he's an experienced guy, but the attribute is not. I mean, I prefer Iqbal and Kogure, of course. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I'll just go, yeah, hand over to assistant. Okay, so the game will, will come and let's check. Is everyone good? Yeah. But sooner or later, we'll have to rotate, of course. We'll have to rotate players, otherwise people will be unhappy and things like that. But for now, I think this is what uh, I want to do for this game. Next game is another tough one. But yeah, maybe against Balestia and Warriors, I might have to, I might have to uh, rotate. But against Home and Tampinus, I have to play my strongest side. They are the favorites and things like that. So proceed to the match. Hopefully, we can catch them on the counter and things like that. That's all I'm looking for. Okay, let's not repeat the mistake <laughs> of not uh, forgetting to do the i just yeah pick up where we left off uh but i feel i can squeeze more out of these guys it's shift right yep i'll just go assertively and just say i have i want i have faith in you okay not too much but all right let's get it on with the defensive but with the intention to counter. Uh, I just want to double check. Yeah, extended highlights. Oh, look at that, Shukri, Shukri Bashir. Oh, penalty. Early penalty. And who is taking uh, Fumia, I think? Kogure, Fumia Kogure. Faultless, faultless. So this formation worked really well. Oh, look at that, what's that line there? Yeah, this formation so far is working quite well. Like the long ball to Shukri. Yeah, the, these long balls. Ah, Pablo, come on. Yeah, those long balls will be key. But it doesn't mean it's over. We don't want to switch off. Uh, Sui Ong, the Song Wei Yong is a very dangerous player. And now they are just like young lions. Now they have woken up. Uh, call it as usual. Okay, Pablo. Uh, I thought that Fumia Kogure is the one taking free kick as well. Ah, I don't know. I said it that way, but if he wants to take it, he wants to take it. Some players, you know, they, they on the pitch, they just say, for example, Fumia is about to take it, and then Pablo is like, oh, uh, come on, man, I want to take it. Yeah, so I think I'll just say, I don't know, here. Concentrate, I think, at this point. Yeah, not. But concentrate usually result in bad things for me. Oh, okay, Shukri, looking good, Nasrul, Fumia, Nasrul, nice play, Shukri to Pablo, ah, Pablo didn't manage to make use of it, but we are, yeah, we, we, are, we are okay in defending so far, we are okay, okay, Pablo to Shukri, Shukri pass, back to Iqbal, Faris Farhan, oh, come on, now they are the one countering us, but uh that's the thing about getting early goal against a strong team they will oh my god oh it's bound to happen oh it's bound to happen maybe it's 
Yeah, maybe I'm too attacking with my formation, but I want to play people in their most comfortable role. That's the thing. Can we hit back? Ah, the, the long shots have been atrocious. Okay, Kogure. Ah, we should be taking all these opportunities. Uh, so much space and Song Weyong. Okay, I don't feel comfortable. So uh, I'll just go. Okay, this is why concentrate always brings me bad things. So I'll just say, uh, get creative. That seems to be the go-to talk for me, anyways. That's the thing about scoring early goals. I feel happy, but at the same time, feel nervous as well. Especially against stronger team when you know and you know they will attack us and we go behind so much for a good start and again is we get countered we are supposed to be playing the counter attack and they they are the one countering us so i don't know what to do in okay let's get the team talk uh, and just say I don't know. Show me something else. Demotivated, but okay. I'll just say I'm happy with him. He's been good. Switch off. So I don't know. Okay, let's go review our tactic here. Uh, defensive hit early crosses, or maybe float crosses this time. A uh, pump ball into the box worked well uh, in the last game. So let's do that. All right, let's just start and see how it goes. But maybe we are too attacking with the wingers, but they are the they are, they, they are only comfortable there. In other place they are not comfortable at all. So yeah, after the initial happiness, now they are the one attacking and attacking. Okay, we have to shout and demand more. Okay, penalty again. Penalty again. Come on, Fumia. Do it again. Do it again, Fumia Kogure. Send the goalkeeper the wrong way and it's 2-2. Fumia Kogure. Penalty again. Uh, I know that people, to some people, they might think, Oh, uh, it's a penalty, man. It's, a, it's, it's weak, you know. It's, it's not... A legit goal but the build up to both penalties that's the most important thing the build up to both penalties that we get uh, I just want to see the highlight first actually oh come on Pablo has been shaky in this game okay no Rahman again no Rahman always at the, at the right place at the right spot at the right time doing the right thing after this highlight, I will make a change, which is now. Okay, let's see who we can bring here. Fumia has been good. Uh, Kidir, I don't know why his morale is low. I don't know. I don't know why. I think I want to try Garrett as a striker, actually. Uh... Yeah, let's replace Shukri Bashir. And this guy, where do I want him to play? I think deep lying forward, I think, to support uh, Pablo. And as for him, I want to go advance forward. I don't know why he wasn't advance forward just now. Maybe that's the reason why we didn't play well. Uh, the first He didn't play well in the first half, I don't know. Halid, Garrett Lowe, Farhan. Iqbal, Kogure, uh, lost the ball. Okay, Fumia. Ah, oh, he lost the ball. Okay, at least they wasted it like that, which is good. Oh, Sirina Kamara. Okay, that's not threatening. Okay, let's do another sub. Uh... Oh, Delvinder is a good player. Maybe not. Maybe not 
do okay let's change something again maybe not exploit the right flank this time okay pump ball into the box i think it's good i think it's good yeah i think there's yeah be more disciplined i guess hopefully get stuck in I think we want to show them who's boss as well. So let's see what's going on here. But we have to bring fresh legs, I would feel. Iqbal is... Okay, Kogure as good as his... Okay, Garrett is doing well in his striker role. But I have to bring Ahmad mm, as a fresh leg, Poacher. And uh, and Fabian, but we need a defensive screen here. Iqbal will have to stay. We need some backup. I need to bring a different set of sub next time. Yeah, Masri will be the one doing that again. Yeah, I think that's okay. Uh, can we look for, I don't know, I want to look for a winner. Uh, go route 1, pump ball into the box, shoot on side, float crosses for uh, tempo higher. No, 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 no. Yeah, let's do... Let's try this. And team talk. Maybe it's too late, I don't know. Yeah, get creative seems to be working instead of push forward or something like that. But I should be happy with the draw. I should be. I mean, they are expected to finish third in the league. We are expected seven. So getting a point. Oh no 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 no. Hopefully it's not. Uh, okay okay oh, okay. Just clear the ball at this point. I'm okay with that. Rather than yeah, a really good match. But Fumia Kogure literally carried us in this game. So I'll just say, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'll just say you have done brilliantly to salvage a draw. I don't want to ruin things. <laughs> yeah, even though we scored two penalties, right? Penalties seems to be... Oh, look at that! We are second on the table. I know that won't last. But come on, let's savor it right now. Second on the table. That is something. That is something huge. I mean, two penalties. But if you see the build up uh, to those two penalties, you will realize that... Those penalties are, are crucial. I mean, it's earned. Those two penalties were earned. And besides earning the penalty, Fumia had to show his composure to score both goals. I, I know I said that I almost uh, sold him uh, in favor of Adam Mitter. I wanted Adam Mitter to be the one, the, the, the third uh, foreign player instead of him. But damn, luckily I saw the coach report on him. Otherwise, I don't know, I, I regret it. <laughs> I, I'm okay with that. Uh, let's see the stats. Okay, both teams got a lot of shots. Even number of on target. Yeah, it's pretty even. So, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, what's this guy doing? I mean, in the, in the FM17 series, this guy also had a war of words with me. Yeah, so let's see what he says. He said that... Oh, okay, okay, no, no, okay, never mind, never mind. Uh, it seems that he's injured for how long? Concussion, three weeks. Okay, that's good that he said that I, I wouldn't hurt them. I don't know whether it's a, how to say, sarcastic or something, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, Fumia Kogure on form, definitely amazing. Uh, do I want to praise him? I think I do. I think I do. I'll just say you support uh, with the number and quality. Keep it up. Oh, come on. Ah, that is bad. Uh, I'll just say I can't wait to see. It. Oh, I don't know. He's being a dick. I just praise him and he said, what are you talking about? And his uh, morale just plummeted. 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he, he performed well, converted the two penalties, and now I say he's good. He's like, ah, okay. I don't know. Uh, just say the game is over. I just want to move on. Yeah. I want to praise him. I just praise him in private and he, he's being a dick. So I just say it was a good team performance overall, of course. Uh, I don't know what's going on with Fumia, but it's okay. He's still good, good morale. I mean, others also have a good morale. He was on... Oh, he's really good now. He's really good. Okay, then. If you want to be pretending to be... To be unhappy with me, and then, I mean, maybe he's putting a brave face. He's putting a brave, brave face. Like I praise him, and he said, "Oh, don't praise me." And then actually, in in, in his mind, you, you know, it's like someone when you say, "Oh, you look you look beautiful," you know, and then the person is like saying, "Oh, what are you talking about? I'm not beautiful," or something like that. But deep in their heart, it's like, "Yes, yes, yes." Yeah, maybe that's the case. I don't know. <laughs> I'll just take it as it is. But uh, collecting four points from the first two games, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, let's save the game. I don't want any shit to happen. But yeah, I know the screen is blurred during the saving, but you can see that we get four points. Young Lions expected to win, but Home United, to be honest with you guys, the draw is pretty much the result I expected away from home. That's good enough. And the next game will be at home against Tampinas. And in nine days, so we have a bit of a break. And then oh, uh, quite a tricky, I, I, would, I would say tricky for now. Tricky game against Palestia Halsa. Hopefully in these two games, we'll be able to get some sort of result. Especially against Tampinas. If we can get a result like Home United, I'll be very happy. For your information, Home United is the third strongest. And this team right here is the second strongest. And by far, I would say that Tampinas compared to... Home, uh, Tampines is much stronger, even though they lost their first game against Home United. At home, Home United, okay, I don't want to be sounding a bit crazy, but Home United beat Tampines away from home. And then, at home, at their home in Bishan Stadium, they get held 2-2 by us. So does it mean that we are better than Tampines? Maybe not, maybe not. <laughs> okay, so anyways, uh, those are the first two games in the in my first episode of my Make Singapore Great Again Football Manager 2018 series. So if you are as pumped as me, consider subscribing and clicking like and leaving any comments, suggestions, encouragement, anything you want to say to me. I will definitely reply to you guys and read every single one of them. So hopefully you guys have a very wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next two extremely intense games against Tampines Rovers and Balestia Halsa. That will be full of fireworks. Hopefully we'll get some sort of result, but I'm very nervous and I'll see you guys next time and have a great day.